Hey guys, uh, we're here. We're at Uluru, uh, the big red rock out in the middle of Australia. Uluru Resort Campground we've checked into for four nights, so we're going to, going to explore um, Ayers Rock and the Olgas. Yeah, the Olgas, the uh, Valley of the Winds. This is our first day here, so we've come to check out the cultural centre. So come along with us and we'll show you around. Let's see how many flies I can't eat. Well, keep your mouth closed. You keep your mouth closed. I don't have to. Grumpy Dave. I am being happy. Well, we just walked through the cultural centre. You're not allowed to do any filming or take photos. There wasn't a great deal in there. A lot of uh, artwork, paintings on a wall, a um, little bit of old video footage, a lot of old photos of the elders from back when they did the signing of the Ayers Rock handover and all that sort of stuff. The cafe and the souvenir shop were closed due to staff illnesses. So they'll be open on Tuesday, but can't be helped. Other than that, yeah, there wasn't a great deal in there. So we'll continue cruising around the park and um, wait for sunset. Catches. Mala. 10am each day the rangers come and you can actually do a guided walk with them it's totally free in the beginning the Mala people came from the north and could see this rock they thought it looked like a good place to stay a while and make ima which is a ceremony the Mala men decorated and raised Nugawata the ceremonial pole the ima had now begun these ancestors are still here today. Lupana still keeps watch, but she is now a large rock. Kapani's footprints are imprinted into the rock, heading towards the east and south. The men who were killed are still in their caves. This story teaches that it is important to finish what you start and that you should watch for and listen to warnings of danger. I don't think the camera will show the actual size of this place. You can see Ros over there in the distance. She's only a speckle. Colours at sunrise and sunset on this rock change dramatically. It's a 12 kilometre walk around the rock. So the black lines with the water does run down. The men's cave. The Mala people came from the north and could see Uluru. It looked like a good place to stay a while and make for, uh, ceremony. Men raised the ceremony pole and the ceremony had begun. This is where the old people sat. You can see the ceiling is blackened from the fires during Mala ceremonies. The men who were too old to participate would rest in this cave. They would make sure the women and children did not enter the men's ceremonial areas. Water is sacred. Shh. This has always been a quiet area of respect. The water hole was the main source of water during the Mala ceremonies, and for generations and generations, our people and wildlife have depended upon it for survival. We always approach quietly from the side so as not to frighten any animals away. Look at the capi, the water. Capi is water. What can you see? After rain, the burrowing frogs come out and quickly search for a mate. The females lay many eggs that hatch into tadpoles. The race is on for the tadpoles to turn into frogs before the water dries up. Pretty cool.
try Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving Good morning guys, we've just um, come out here for sunrise at Uluru, got some great snaps, we'll put them up later, but uh, tomorrow morning we'll head over to the Olgas and do the same thing. Walking up to have dinner at the Field of Lights. Hi, Good evening. Hello. The guy on the bus was having a laugh at the guy that was rehearsing his speech. <laughs> <laughs> just next it's, to the yeah. gin tub. Yeah, Thank you. How are you? Hello. Hello. Good. How are you? Good. Good. Here we are going down. We just had our uh, drinks and canapes, and now we're going down for where we're having the dinner. Well, there's where the lights will light up later. They go all the way to the hill up the back there. Yeah, you should go out and walk around the tracks out there in between them. Forever, forever. I watch you as you sleep. You don't know I'm looking. With you, everything's complete. Do you know how much I love you? Put your favorite song on Just to wake you up When I dance around I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that I would? Cause I Now we've just ducked over to um, the, the Olgas. We're on a little viewing platform at the moment. Car park's down there, and Ayers Rock is over that away. This is just a little viewing platform. There it is. It's also called Valley of the Winds because the winds rip through those uh, valleys, which you'll see soon. The rock, it's about 44 k's. Not much out here. Okay, we're uh, here at the moment, sacred area, do not climb on the domes, please remain on the track. Grade 3 rough track, short steep hills. So uh, this is Carter Juta, or the Olgas, and it's Valley of the Winds. So what we got here, as you walk through this spectacular landscape, consider the rich variety of habitat, foothills, rocky areas, and creek beds contribute to the park's biodiversity. Carter Juta is sacred to 
Anugu men. Our people have always shown respect when visiting this special place, so we'd camp a short distance away and walk in quietly. They were not swimming the water holes. Women enter this area as well to collect food and water, but always behaved appropriately. It is the same now. It is the same for you. Hold in your hearts the knowledge that this is a special place. Walk quietly, tread lightly, stay on the tracks and enjoy this place. Now having a bit of a look, all right, we're here. We're just gonna walk in, walk around and back out. Then we're gonna duck down to Walper Gorge and we'll walk into the valley and we'll walk back out. So we've come up to a concrete footpath, concrete and rocks. Looking back into one of the gorges. So yeah, it's dirt up to there, which wasn't too far. And now it seems to be this concrete and rock. So it's fairly easy going. You go up to where that lady lady's up the top there. legs are still sore from uh, doing Kings Canyon so I don't think she's keen to go any further amazing views
Zach time again. Joke time with Dave. Hey Roz. You know. Why are skeletons so calm? Why? Because they don't let anything get under their skin. <laughs> Catches. <laughs>